JoinPCTechForum.net is a new site. It's a way we'll be discussing everything related to tech news. They'll be discussing uh, the latest processors, graphic cards, laptops, hard drives, computer cases. They also have a section for pre-built PCs and custom-built PCs, and also a PC straight from the manufacturer. They also be discussing the operating systems and how to troubleshoot them. And said last but not least, they'll also be discussing the latest uh, games and business. The site is brand new, so people will join for the first time on there. So come and sign up today at pctechforum.net. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem, bringing you this report. Ethiopia Ministry of Defense has announced that a plane that was carrying weapons for terrorist group TPLF and violating Ethiopian airspace and entered the country through Sudan was shot down by the Ethiopian Air Force. It's unfortunate that we are back to talking about conflict in Ethiopia. Because of the ceasefire for a few months, the war was on pause. But now the rebel group broke that truce because they decided to attack. Not just that, they have stolen fuel from the WFP. Those trucks were sent to that region to help the people that needed the most, to help the people that the rebel group is claiming that they are helping. They are stealing the aid that is there to support their own people. They took that in order for them to go to war, in order for them to go and attack. I don't understand their concept of liberating their people when they're stealing from their own people to go and start a war when they're forcing their own people, their own young men to go and fight in a war that just does not make sense. So I am confused as to why this was necessary. If you're fighting for your people, prove that. Stand for your people. Don't force your people to go and fight a war that you have started or you are interested in. It just... It, all around it's so sad and now it's becoming more obvious that this is a proxy war the west is not saying anything about this when it comes to the rebel group losing they always come out and say ceasefire like let's calm it down but when the rebel group is attacking civilians is attacking borders they are quiet what does that tell you about which side they are on? What does that tell you about the intention behind what the West is doing right now? They're making it really clear. And if they are choosing to destabilize Ethiopia, you better believe we are coming together to save our country. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.